I really hate Steven Crowder. He's arguably one of, if not the largest online political commentator, comedian type person. He is backed by millionaires and billionaires. He's making shit tons of money. He's got so much funding behind him. He'll be able to do this for the rest of his life and retire at the ripe old age of, I don't know, 75 years old, a millionaire, very successful, and will probably die uh, a very happy man, despite all of the harm and uh, uh, pain he's brought to this world. Does that make you mad? It makes me mad as well. And he's also an annoying little shit. Today we have a video by Steven Crowder. It's from Crowder Bits, so it's like his smaller channel where he uploads these like short little bits called German SJW Freaks Out. Actually, let's read this how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> German SJW Freaks Out on free speech question. Or on free speech... On free speech question! Because it's all, two exclamation points and then align them louder with Crowder. Um, so basically what Crowder does is, and this is important, he never announces where he's going to be going. He sets up a stand um, and, and like basically offers or pressures people on the street into debating him over topics that they, he is going to be um, infinitely more knowledgeable about. Now granted, he's not knowledgeable enough about them to be correct about it. He's always wrong about these topics. Nonetheless... Despite that, he, um, he has a lot of media training. The microphone in the spotlight is always on him. He always, there's always like a, a hostile crowd towards the person doing the debate. So he is generally, um, uh, uh, he is generally very, very much, uh, um, uh, uh, having the advantage there, right? You know, he's got his sources and everything generally. He's got like a little notebook or whatever that he'll reference if he needs to. Um, and he usually prepares for the topic beforehand when I don't think this lady left her house thinking that she was going to debate. But he purposely, he also gets to do editing. Since it's being uploaded on his channel, um, his people do all of the editing to make him look as positive as possible. And sometimes he comes out of it looking really, really bad despite his people doing the editing and trying to make him look as good as possible. Nonetheless, though, nonetheless... Um, we're going to be talking about a very difficult topic that is free speech in Germany. Now, I'm going to give my little treatise on this really quickly before we even get into the video. Hypers, if you've ever heard a Nazi say that immigrants from other countries and other cultures are coming to the West and they're going to destroy Western ideals such as Freedom of speech. You ever heard that talking point? I've heard that talking point fucking dozens of times. It is a talking point I have heard so much that I hear it in my dreams when I go to bed at night. Ironically enough, the West, you know, the West does not have a consensus on what freedom of speech is. Some countries are very absolutist with their freedom of speech, such as America, where Free speech is basically like, like, as long as you're not yelling fire in a crowded theater, freedom of speech is freedom of speech. You can say anything. You can, you can say the N-word. You know, you can talk about how you want to lynch black people and how black people are, are bad and all those things. And, and you probably won't, you know, face any charges. We don't have obscenity laws and we don't have, we do have obscenity laws. We don't have um, hate speech laws in America. You can, you can do a hate crime. But you don't, there, there's no hate speech in, 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 like, hate speech laws in America. However, there are other countries, such as Germany and Canada and whatnot, that do have laws against these things. They're a little bit tighter with, with their laws. You can't engage in certain, you know, discriminatory speech because it's considered some kind of harassment, which I think is valid. Now, there is an argument when it comes to freedom of speech that there are certain types of speech that you cannot allow if you, want to, if you want to preserve freedom of speech, people like fascists, for example, if they had their way, would destroy freedom of speech for those that they don't agree with having those rights. It's called the tolerance paradox, more or less. Basically, can, you know, conservatives like to point to this as, a lot as well, saying the left are the intolerant ones because they're not tolerant of um, conservatives. If somebody would use their freedom of speech to take away the freedom of speech of a certain group of people, then it is necessary to deprive that group of people from using freedom of speech for that specific uh, uh, goal. I think that's agreeable. If there are Nazis who would lobby and, and you know, come into power to use their power to take away freedom of speech from black people, for example, 
or Jewish people or, or immigrants or whatnot, then it is fair to restrict their ability to use that speech. But it's a complicated debate. And every single country, every single Western country, has a different view on what freedom of speech ought to be, what it ought to entail. So let's go ahead and see uh, uh, how Crowder destroys this unprepared German SJW as she freaks out over freedom of speech, I guess. Yeah. Also, we aren't censoring conservatives. We just bully them for their dumbass take, Xander Hall. They just don't think criticism is free speech. That's true. Conservatives do have a mental breakdown over criticism for what they say. They do, they do think that is uh, an infringement on their freedom of speech. But nonetheless, let's continue. We need to stop the ability for them, stop the incentive for them to come here illegally. No, we need to offer them asylum and we need to offer them a way to legally What if we don't want to? No. Why don't you want to? What is your reason that you don't? I want them to go through the legal channels as all of the legal immigrants have. What if we make it legal? No, not, not if they're here illegally, no. There is a legal way to come to this country. They're not doing it. I don't think that's racist. I assume this is Germany. I assume he's in Germany right now. God, that's such a pedantic debate. I hate the way conservatives argue because the problem with conservative, conservatives is they just want to hate brown people and they want to justify their hatred of brown people for their audience that also hates brown people. Bosch isn't streaming today. Wait, what? Is he canceling his stream? RNC stream with debate is rescheduled for tomorrow. Dipshits, I'm tired. Get fucked, losers. Damn. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Since Vosh isn't streaming, maybe my viewer count will go up. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking funny. Hold on. Vosh's fans should watch me since he's not streaming today anyway let's get into it um no so in basically every single country um there are ways through which you can immigrate legally into that country the problem is and the issue is it is usually unbelievably difficult it is really fucking hard. I mostly know about immigration in America. I, I believe we take in more asylum seekers and immigrants than any other country. I may be wrong on this. Don't, don't quote me on that. But um, it's, oh, it's unbelievably fucking complicated. The immigration process is unbelievably difficult. Um, uh, uh, um, it, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. There's long waiting lists. There's like a random raffle. The, um, the way that you can, like if you manage to immigrate legally, the way that you can try to get your family into the country is very limited. The, the like family that you can do it, um, not per capita. Per capita, we aren't. But like per like general size, we take in more immigrants than any, any other country, just in raw numbers, not per capita. Um, nonetheless, I believe it's probably the same in most Western countries that um, it is pretty fucking hard to immigrate legally. Crowder just wants to keep immigrants out because he's racist. Crowder is racist. Like, I mean, I think, I think from what we've seen of, um, uh, uh, of, uh, 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 of our boy Crowder, we can say he's racist. He just wants to justify his hatred of brown people, keep them out of what he thinks are white countries, and he wants to justify that belief in his audience. Aren't a decent portion of illegal immigrants like expired visas? Yes. Um, never let a conservative get away with this. The vast majority of illegal immigration occurs through ports of entry, and expired visas. There are very few, proportionally to the amount that are coming in, immigrants that are like jumping the border fence or, um, you know, coming in through some other, some other way. Uh, frankly, I could jam you to Xander Hall tonight. True. Um, can't say that word. What word did I say wrong? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Most Americans don't think that's racist. Your friend from the Netherlands doesn't think it's racist. My French Canadian mom doesn't think it's racist. That's okay for my friend. God, this is the second Crowder video we've covered in a row where he busts out the identity politics. I, lo I love this. I fucking, it's beautiful to me how much conservatives will condemn identity politics and talk about how the left is um is against identity politics and yet they pull it out on their own. When they don't have an argument, they'll just say, hmm, you think I'm racist? Well, look, I've got a black guy and a brown guy that are with me here, and they're part of, and they're they're my employees, and they don't think I'm racist. Checkmate, libtard. 
friend from the Netherlands. But you think it's racist to believe that people should enter the country legally? Um, no. The motivation. Now, granted, this lady's not like some debaters. Her heart's definitely in the right place, but probably is going to get destroyed in this debate because, you know, um, there's a reason why, why Crowder never announces where he's setting up his little thing before it happens. You'll notice that it, it's always a surprise. He uploads the video of his little, you know, change my mind thing a week after it happens because he doesn't want anybody who's actually prepared and knows what they're talking about to confront him. Because they'll get blown the fuck out. Because he's always wrong. And he, he's not a particularly good debater. He's, he's really not. Steven Crowder is not a good debater. The problem is that he... Um, uh, do I have the mail keys? I do have the mail keys. Yeah, wait. Are, are, is, do we have, like, mail? Here, I'll just slide the keys underneath the door, baby. Alright, Lonnie, there you go. I slid the mail keys under the door. You can go check the mail. Um, anyway... Crowder's not a particularly uh, good debater at all. Um, however, there's a reason why he uh, doesn't allow people to prepare. Just a little additional info. America has one of the uh, hardest legal immigration systems in the world because you have uh, country quotas, which most other countries don't. That's true. That is true. Um, yeah, nonetheless, the motivation for why they want to keep out immigrants... Uh, uh, and make sure they come in legally is racist. Because for one, the legal process is unbelievably difficult to the point where barely anybody is able to get in. Yeah, John Oliver did a fantastic segment on legal immigration. Yeah, that, that's I, I learned a lot from that one as well. Um, and, and the problem is that the motivations for why they claim they want to keep um, illegal immigration down is um, uh, uh, are bullshit. They, they just are. Um, the only group of immigrants that commit more crime than the native population are specifically North African immigrants from people like Morocco and whatnot. That is the only demographic of people who are committing a disproportionate amount of crime. The Swedish rape gangs have been, like, grooming gangs and whatnot have been debunked. It's, I think it was found that, like, um, fuck, like, I think it was Sean did, a, like, a fan, or Three Arrows or something did a really good video debunking the, um, the right, like, the, uh, right-wing talking point about, like, um, the rape gangs in Sweden, or the grooming gangs in Sweden that Sargon likes to push. Um, like, they, it's, they just don't actually have this problem with brown people coming over and committing more crime than white Native people. It's just not a thing that's happening. Now, if you're bringing in any population of people from one place to another, then yes, you are going to have an increase in crime because there is no crime-free demographic. If you want to stop crime, you might as well keep men from coming in because men commit way more crime than women. It was Lonerbox? Nice. Lonerbox is a cool duder. He comes in my chat sometimes. Um, uh, uh, sorry. And nonetheless, um, like you, if you want to keep crime from happening... You would just only let in women, because women do much less crime than men do. It's the men who are doing it. Hell, you want to keep the you want to stop crime? Get the get the men out. Get the poor people out. The poor people are the ones who commit crime. If you want to stop crime, deport poor people and deport men, especially poor men. That's how you would do it. Now, obviously, you shouldn't do this. I don't think anybody in their right mind would advocate for this. But nonetheless, it goes to show that the data represents. That is the actual problem, and the only reason why these conservative demagogues push the um, push this narrative is because they want brown people out. They don't like brown immigrants coming in. Um, I think it's racist to believe uh, that people that come from Mexico ultimately bring in like rape, bring in violence, bring in I don't even know. So th wait. Why is he debating a German woman over American immigration? I barely know anything about, like, uh, European, like, uh, immigration whatnot. I, I know enough to argue um, the basic, like, date. I know the numbers behind it, but I, I don't know, like, the social political um, impacts as much. That's why I, I admit things like, okay, there's some shit going on with, like, North African immigrants that are definitely a problem. But nonetheless... Um, no, this is true. This is absolutely true. Basically, like, I would argue that almost all of the anti-Mexican immigrant, um, I, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say definitively, because I can speak on America, all of the anti-Mexican immigration rhetoric in America is racially motivated by racism. I will say that very, very definitively.
because the data is out there. There is not a single non-racially or ethnically motivated reason to want to prevent Mexican immigrants from coming to America. Not a single one. There isn't a single downside. They commit less crime the foreign populate or than the native population. They um, all economists, even right wing ones, agree with the overwhelming consensus that they um, bring in a massive. Um, benefit to the economy, even when you consider the detriment they may have when it comes to them, like using, um, you know, f from them being there and, and benefiting from some help from the government sometimes. Um, on top of that, they pay taxes. This is how they not only help the economy, but help the government. They pay taxes such as uh, property tax, um, sorry, property tax, um, taxes, you know, sales tax, things like that. They would actually be paying more taxes and helping the government even more if they just end up, um, uh, if they just end up being full on citizens and be giving and been given social security numbers because then they could pay income tax and they would contribute even more but already they're helping the economy um uh, uh the only downside currently is that um uh, uh first generation native immigrants do have a bigger detriment to the um to like the social security system or whatever than um, native born immigrants, but then their kids end up making up or no, 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 they don't. It was actually the talking point was they take jobs. First generation native immigrants take jobs from high school dropout teenagers, like, like minimum wage jobs. They take those jobs, but then their kids end up generally taking higher um, skill jobs that um, Amer native American workers or native American workers, American native workers, like, you know, not native Americans, um, end up take, uh, end up taking, they end up taking higher skilled labor anyway. Um, it's just, there just isn't any empirical data driven reason to want to prevent, um, Mexican immigration to America. It is almost entirely, if not entirely motivated by racial bias. There's a reason why the crowd fucking cheered at Trump rallies when Trump said, and most of the people coming over from Mexico are rapists and murderers. And some of them, I assume, are good people. But most of them are, are bad hombres. You know, there, there's, a, there's a good fucking reason for why the crowd fucking goes wild when they hear their daddy Trump talking about how uh, the brown people from Mexico are rapists and murderers coming to subvert Western civilization, okay? I guarantee Crowder believes in the Great Replacement, okay? I guarantee fucking T he believes in that white supremacist, white nationalist bullshit, okay? Especially if he's pushing, like, the um, European immigration problem shit. Okay, other, other, oh, I have another beautiful example. Okay. What about call, calling Africa shithole countries? Well, he didn't say Africa is a sh or shithole countries. He no. talked about multiple countries being shithole countries. Yes. He talked, so Donald Trump talked about how countries that are pre overwhelmingly brown are shithole countries. Now, on its own, if I said that, like, one of these countries was a shithole country, just considering the context of my career, you could probably make a good case for how that's not racist, right? Like, yeah, I mean, in, in every sense of the word, they're kind of shitty. Like, you wouldn't want to live there, right? It is a kind of a shithole country, right? They have bad infrastructure, not a lot of money, poor economy. Most people there are living in very poor conditions. However, when you consider the context and the overwhelming uh, uh, body of work that Trump has done, you can pretty safely say that he had racial motivation, racist motivation for why, and colonialism is a big reason for it, of course, for why he said what he did, why he called these overwhelmingly brown countries shithole countries. Yeah, yeah you, you can fairly safely say when you consider um, Trump's reputation that he was being racist there. Yeah. What, how is that not racist? How, well, it depends on whether it's a shithole country or not. Okay, if I call, like... No, it depends on whether or not the intentions were meant to be racist. Not whether or not it's a shithole country. That's... That's what makes the difference. Crowder. It's not say, that's not saying that you believe you're superior to someone because of, of race. Of course it is! I'm saying you are shit. We are great. I'm not gonna lie. That's I think secure. Germany's... For example... Yeah, no, that's actually a good example, Neutron. All I said was say 1350 with no context. How is that racist? Exactly. A lot of people say, hmm, it's not racist to throw a stat out there when they say 1350. You know, 13% of the population, black people commits 50% of crime, you know, whatnot. A lot of people say stats aren't racist. 
Now, of course that's true. Stats aren't racist. Acknowledging the 1350 stat being true um, is not racist. Now, obviously, it's a pretty, you know, the stat isn't exactly accurate because white people are, are way less uh, policed, generally speaking, than black people are. Nonetheless, that isn't racist, especially in the context of acknowledging the socioeconomic factors that would lead to the existence of the stat, to black people being in the particular position they are in this country. However, when you go down in the comments of a video by, I don't know, Stefan Molyneux, a devout white nationalist who made an entire movie about how he's a white nationalist, when you see the comments saying 1350, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sheckler or whatever the fuck, I don't know, or, or, or what is it? What, um, what is the, uh, what is the, the grabbler or, uh, um, the happy merchant or, you know, Groiper or whatever the fuck. When you see 1350 and a bunch of Nazi dog whistles down in the comments of a fucking Stefan Molyneux video, um, uh, uh, generally, generally you can pretty, pretty safely into it that maybe this person isn't just stating a fact. Maybe there's a reason why they're, uh, uh, regurgitating this statistic. Maybe it's, it's racist. Maybe, maybe they're racist. Kind of a shitty country. Doesn't mean I think Germans are lesser than Americans. I just don't like your policies. Well, that is racist because you would say that, like, Germans are shitty. No, I think Germany is a crappy country for a why, multitude of reasons. Why is Germany a crappy country? Well, you don't have freedom of speech is one of them. We have freedom of speech. No, you don't. You don't have, have freedom, freedom of speech. Of You're not a freedom of speech. You jail people. Hell yeah. I wonder if Crowder would agree um, with this if I said, hey, do you believe that, um, because Crowder would un un unquestionably find me, it would be so easy for me to go out and find a quote of Crowder talking about immigrants wanting to come in and subvert Western values such as freedom of speech when most countries, I called this by the way, guys, I called this by the way, I called it, he don't miss, when most countries um, in the West don't even agree on what freedom of speech is, when um, reactionaries talk about Western values such as freedom of speech, they're talking about America, only America. Only America has the hardcore, um, strict, extremist freedom of speech that, um, that we have. And even then, we have a president who is a hypocrite and is actively trying to take away the freedom of speech from those that criticize him and disagree with him politically by expanding libel laws so that he can sue people that speak badly about him, whether it's the truth or not, by trying to designate an ideology such as Antifa, which is just the concept of being anti-fascist as a, as a terrorist group, so that he can crack down fed, uh, with federal law on, um, on anti-fascist uh, uh, people or people who identify as being like leftist. Um, on him wanting to deport, deport people who burn the American flag, which is the most pure and beautiful example of practicing your freedom of speech you can possibly engage in, because you are using your uh, freedom of speech, which is, which is given to you by the government, to protest said government. It's beautiful. It honestly is. And he said he wants to deport people who practice their freedom of speech in that way. Nobody, even in the West, even within America, the most extremist freedom of speech country in the world agrees on what it is to have freedom of speech and, and how it should be practiced. For unpopular speech, you jail people for offensive speech. No, I, no, yes, you do. No, I don't. No, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Accurate. So she is right on this. Generally, you don't get imprisoned in most of these countries for like making a racist joke. Now, there is, like, the example of Count Dankula, and in, in I believe he's from uh, Scotland, right? Where he got, like, fined, or I think he got arrested? I think he just got fined. He would have been arrested if he wasn't able to pay the fine, but he raised enough money from, like, a cra like a crowdfunding to be able to pay it off. Because he did a little meme video where he had his dog do a Sieg Heil. But generally, this is, like, a pretty fucking rare occurrence. And the reason why that's such a rare occurrence is because... Um, or, or the reason you know it's a rare occurrence is because when it does happen, it ends up being fucking multinational news, and you end up seeing conservative media figures around the fucking world pushing uh, 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 the narrative about how that happened. He got $100,000 in donations, so yeah, he could pay it. Yeah, he, he, he gained a lot of money from that. Not even, he also said a bunch of shit like he would gas the Jews. He did say, like, gas the Jews and stuff like that. To be fair, it wasn't, it like... It wasn't completely evident that it was a joke, you know? Like, I know it was a joke to be, you know, if we're being honest, but holy shit. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it was as obvious as uh, a lot of people do make it out to be. Um, but yeah. Stats aren't pure. You need to read for methodology and cognitive bias and all stats. That's true.
Right. It is 100% accurate. No. It is 100% You're lying. Accurate. Like, I live You do like, not have freedom of speech enshrined in the German Constitution. It doesn't exist. We it's have not a thing. freedom of speech. Is that true, actually? Hold on, really quickly. You don't need freedom of speech enshrined in your constitution to have freedom of speech. You can just be in the law. Um... Get that in a second, my friend. Library of Congress, let's see. Overview of freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Article 5 of the German Basic Law, the country's constitution, guarantees freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Okay, no, it literally is in their constitution. That, that's just Crowder lying. Crowder's just straight up lying here. Now, is it as extreme as America? Absol absolutely not. Nobody is denying that. But it is literally in their constitution that, um, uh, uh, that, it, is in their free that it is in their constitution. And she's calling him out for it, but because of her optics, which granted aren't great, she does come off as and as Crowder is going to label her and 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 frame her as a SJW freakout, she is still right. And he's being he's being smug and you know talking over her. And and this is how this is how reactionaries debate. You know, whenever a, a reactionary, I think Vosh made a really good video on it. This is one of his first ever videos. If you go to his channel, you should all watch it. Um, it's nothing like his his current content, but um, uh, you should definitely check it out. Um. Uh, uh, let's see. Date added oldest. Here. How to trigger reactionaries with facts and logic. In this video, Vosh talks about how conservative demagogues like this debate. How they frame themselves and frame their debate opponent to their audience. It's a really, really fucking good video. And it's prepared content, too. It's nothing like what you have likely seen from, from like, Vosh before. Um, here, we'll watch it at 1.5 speed for just a second. Worse praxis than losing an argument to a Nazi, even. Just whatever you do. Here, here's where he talks about First it. off, identify insecurities. The more you rattle them, the angrier they get, and the better you look in comparison. When you get them worked up, pull back and play the calm, composed intellectual. When they cool down, go back on the offensive. Every time they lash out, you have more ammo with which to insinuate they're irrational. Or, oh, sorry, triggered. Reactionaries hate it when their rhetoric gets appropriated. Calling them whiny, uh, triggered, crybabies, snowflakes, or whatever the fuck. You can get them real fucking angry that way. You can also try calling them stupid, of course. Don't do it bluntly, though, or at least not at the start of the debate. Remember, you don't want to look abusive. Disaffected amusement. Less, you're a fucking idiot. And more like, uh, <laughs> oh man, you know, I was, um, I was expecting a smarter argument from you. And then following yeah, it's a really fucking good video. And it, and it basically uh, teaches how you can turn around conservative demagogue debate tactics back on them. And it's a really good video. If you want to get into debating, you have to watch that video. It does a pretty good job of breaking it all down. Um, but that's what Crowder's doing right now. He is that little fucking rage comic face. Hold on, let's see if we can find it. Um, uh, smug rage comic face. Is that the one? Yeah, right now. This is Crowder. This is Crowder right now. This is what he's doing. He's saying, hmm, well, it's not actually in the Constitution. And then she's saying, yes, it is. It's literally in the Constitution. No, it's not. It's not actually in your Constitution. You guys don't actually have constitutionally enshrined freedom of speech. And no one, none of his audience is actually going to go out of their way to look it up and, and, you know, verify that what Crowder is saying is true. He seems so confident in what he's saying that his audience is just going to take his word for it. They're going to run with it. He doesn't actually have to prove that he is correct. It's as simple as that. Um, hold on really quick. Fucking restream chat is broken. I don't actually know how many viewers I have right now. It's probably like 700, I would assume. Oh, 874. Not too bad, okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what Crowder's doing right now. He is playing the optics game, game perfectly right here, but this is very important. If you actually want to be a, um, a responsible like uh, viewer of debates, don't base who you think won a debate on who had the best optics. Base it on who is actually correct in the debate. Who is saying the correct thing. Let me continue on down I the list. I worked in media. I worked in news media. We have freedom of speech. We could write whatever we wanted to. No, you don't. No, we do. Let me ask you this. I are studied you, you... politics in Germany. I sure. studied the system. What you're right. saying is a bland out. So Lie. No, it's 100% accurate. People are arrested in Germany, jailed for speech. No, no! Yes.
she like this is really he argues like my dad yeah he argue he does argue like a fucking boomer dad but um <clears throat> she she is very like it is really bad optics i mean she's right she is correct but it's just really really bad optics what was that debate vid he showed just called it's called how to trigger reactionaries with facts and logic by vosh um it was like his sixth ever video or something like that um Welcome to how Germans react to lies. This is how Germans react to lies, I guess. Um, but no, I mean, you can be arrested in, in, in like Germany, I guess, if you make a, if you make like an article talking about how the, you know, uh, the, these illegal immigrants ought to be lynched and burned at the stake or some shit. Like, yeah, you'll be arrested for that because they do have hate speech laws. But nonetheless, there is freedom of the press, freedom of expression and freedom of speech. You're allowed to criticize your government. You're allowed to criticize the state. You're allowed to do all of those things. That's what freedom of speech is for. You guys know that, right? The reason why most Western countries enshrine their constitution, freedom of speech, is so you can criticize the government. Not so that you can talk about how black people need to be, like, uh, fucking killed and gay people are degenerate without any consequences whatsoever. Freedom of speech is there so you can criticize your government. That's why they included it. The founding fathers of, of America, of this country, specifically enshrined freedom of speech in the Constitution because they wanted the right, they wanted the American people to have the right to criticize their government, to protest their government, which they could not do under the crown. They could not criticize the, the, um, the British Empire um, under the crown. It wasn't allowed. It was illegal. That's why they enshrined that in their constitution. Not so they could talk about how black people are degen how gays and black people are degenerate need to be lynched without any consequences. That's not what it's that's not what it's there for. They're arrested. They're arrested if they use hateful speech. Because of course they are. Okay. Alright, and then and then, you know, because obviously the, the crowd is going to be uh, on Crowder's side because he's a massive media figure. Um, but damn, what a Chad move. She just fucking yoinked the mic from him. Can, uh, listen, bad optics for basically everybody watching right now. Because he's going to laugh and he's going to seem super like, you know, he's and this is where the video ends right here. There's like 10 seconds left in the video right now. Um, or there's five seconds left in the video. But to be honest, though, like if we're actually not a fucking a dumb fuck conservative, what a Chad move. Just fucking she just fucking yoinked that mic out of out of Crowder's hand. And that's not even his broken uh, wrist either, or his sprained wrist either. Like Crowder's a big dude. I'm not going to lie. Crowder could probably beat my ass in a fight unless it was like um, uh, grappling, I guess. I could, I could probably get him like a good rear naked choke. But like, um, uh, uh. Now this is gonna be in my my search history forever. Steven Crowder shirtless. Um, actually, yeah, no, he's he's like he's actually like fairly he's pretty fit. Like Steven Crowder definitely goes to the gym and works out a fair amount, but he's kind of got like um. Wait, was this him back? Wait, that's not Crowder. Um. No, nah, but he's got kind of like a like a dad bod kind of thing. Like he's got kind of a beer belly. He's got like dad strength though. He's got like fat sort of like kind of let himself go dad strength. Like at one point he was um you know, he used to go to the gym every day at one point, but around the time he turned 25 or or getting towards his 30s, he stopped going to the gym. You know, his metabolism kind of shit out on him, but he's still got like a lot of muscle under there, you know? Cuz like underneath the the like sort of layer of fat, you know? Um yeah. Um, but nonetheless, like, he's a strong dude, so it is pretty fucking Chad that she just fucking yoinked the mic right out of his hand. But prepare for some really bad optics, we're gonna cringe for a moment. Off. So you want Nazis? You guys started it! Ah, uh, and then it cuts out right there. Then it cuts out right there. Some guy in the audience saying, TRIGGERED! Oh, God. Ugh. The left is really bad at optics. Like, if, if we're being completely honest, like, there is, there is an immense amount of validity to the argument. The left is fucking, fucking despicable when it comes to optics. And when you try to argue that the left ought to get better at optics, people say, hmm, so you think we should engage in civility politics? And it's like... No, but if you want your political ideology to win and for people to not, for, for massive moat, like put fucking conservative mouthpieces not to be able to frame your political ideology as being like the, just a bunch of triggered fucking um, SJWs, then yeah, you should probably think about the optics of your, of your political movement. Yeah, like, like yeah, you, you should. You should consider that. Um, but holy fuck. Jesus Christ.
Um, Crowder is such a fucking hack. <laughs>